James is here for Sports Key to MMA. Brandon Royval's in the house. We're gonna play some Street Fighter 2. Talk about him weighing in this morning, the flyweight division, all that stuff. Brandon, what's up, man? How what cool up, is bro? this? This is dope. I'm made it to the convention center, just weighed in. <laughs> we need to do a battle here, yeah. It looked horrible. So have you played Street Fighter uh, before? Not in a long ass time, but not on this. Ever. Yeah, so you gotta press start. Oh yeah, you're good. Uh, so pick your character, wherever you can be. I'm gonna be uh, Ryu. Do that. And, uh, How do I? Oh, I'll be, I'll yeah, be you can. Yeah, it's all good. Anyways, uh, you said the wake up was tough this morning. What, uh, what happened? Fucking horrible. I came in heavy. <laughs> you did? I, I came in heavy. Uh, I, not on purpose, obviously. Oh, what the hell? How do I jump? Uh, oh, yeah. Just, all right, it's on. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. It's a button masher, man. Uh, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> um, so you were saying, uh, so wh why was it tougher than a normal wake up? Uh, I don't know. I just thought I, I thought I had it mapped out, so I stopped, uh, I stopped paying attention to what I was doing last week. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna be good. I was like 141 last week. I'm like, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be on point by that time. And uh, I just stopped. And like 4th of July came up. I was out there with my family, not measuring anything. And then I just well, got Well, probably big. a good lesson. At least you didn't have to fight, right? I mean, if you did, it would be terrible, obviously. I mean, I still want to fight. Oh, yeah. I, I'm ready for a fight. That don't matter. If yeah. something happens this week, I already told Mick, I was like, I'm ready to go in there. So you were tabbed as the backup. We talked about this in our interview. I know there was some talk that maybe you weren't the backup. Was you the whole time you knew you were going to be the backup? Yeah, yeah. Right? I was a backup the moment that Mateus Nicola. Oh, dang! I did that. Yeah, you did. That was great. The uh, the moment I beat Mateus Nicola, I knew I was going to be the backup. Yeah. That's why I almost fucked up on this way. In, but I'm ready. I'm ready to fight this weekend if at all possible. And. Uh, so Brandon Moreno, I asked him at media day, and nothing against, I mean, Alexander can win tomorrow night too. I, I didn't mean him specifically, but it sounds like you're next for the title. Is that your understanding? It That's seems like the backup usually is uh, getting, getting that spot. I feel like I've done uh, everything, uh, everything right. I've made weight. Uh, I'm making statements, all the above. So uh, Let's do it, another game. You can be a different character. Yeah. Oh, shit. I just took yes. I'm back out of this bitch. Uh, don't worry, it's uh, Chung Lee. She's good. It's Chung Lee. All right. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so she might be next. Um, I think September is going to be too quick a turnaround for Brandon. I'm sure he wants to fight on that Mexican uh, card. If it is him, if it's Pantoja, Brazil's in November. Um, when would you like to fight? Like, if you could pick. I don't give a shit, bro. I honestly want to fight on that uh, on that New York card. Uh, yeah. That pay per view would be dope. But uh, I'm ready in September. I'll be ready uh, whenever they go to fucking New Mexico City. I heard that was a thing. Yeah. And just just whenever, man. I don't give a shit what happens. I just You're ready to rock and roll. I want to fight, and I want to fight for a belt, and I'm ready to go make statements, you know? If Brandon wins on Saturday, is it a bit easier because you guys have the same management in terms of negotiation, do you think? I have no clue. Honestly, I have no clue. I don't know how any of that's going to work out. Uh, I just want to make some, something happen for myself, you know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what goes on necessarily. Behind the scenes, be ready to go. What yeah. did you think of that Kai, uh, Kai Kara Prince and Amir Albazi fight? Some people felt like Kai deserved the nod there. What did, how did you score it? Yeah, I scored it for uh, Kai Kara Prince. I think most of the world did. Um, it was a close fight. Uh, I'll be honest. And I thought, uh, wow, it's what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just button mashing for sure. It was a close fight, though. It was a close fight. Uh, I felt like it was a little uneventful. And then uh, it picked up at the end. Do you think, what do you think about the possibility of Amir al potentially skipping you and getting the title shot next? Because there's some talk of that. I don't think there's much talk of that, honestly. No? No. I, so you're I, not worried about it? No, I'm really not worried about it. Uh, Does he fight then, do you think, the winner of Cobb in France? Or, well, he wouldn't fight in France, I, I think, obviously. I think but. he would fight the loser of the title fight. I think that's where he should yeah. his next goal. If he's making call-outs, I think that should be his next call-out, is the loser title fight. I'm pretty positive I got the I got the title fight next. I did everything I had to do, including making statements along the way, not on this game, yeah. but, uh, but everywhere else, you know? So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm up next. Good to see you again. See Last you time right. I saw you was Anaheim, wasn't it? Before you were in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Ian Heinish's fight. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. Were you here last year? I, I was here last year. Oh, maybe I did see you last year. Yeah, yeah, maybe this. I'm losing my memory. So yeah, me too, bro. Hey, enjoy the rest of Vegas, man. Take care.